reversing as you can see. I'm trying to get some elephants for you. I'll be with you in 15 seconds. 10. On. No, I'll just stop counting. Hi, elephants. We saw, we saw Needle, our elephant, the elephant with the long, very pointy tusk. So she's made it back to the herd. Hello, girl. Do you mind if we come and say hello? Would you have a problem with that? No, you seem very relaxed. Yes, you're all nice and calm now. I'm sorry that you were so distraught a little bit earlier. Isn't that so sweet? You can't go up that way. Careful, you're too big to fit through Mum's legs. This little boy, Hashem, he's very sweet. Now, I'm not convinced that it's one family herd, because everybody's very sort of split up here. It's actually Mum, all the, the adult females and their offspring hanging around together. So there, there must be a, a couple of different family groups. Are you going to have a suckle for us? It would be very nice if you suckle in the golden light. The, this calf's not a particularly young calf. It's actually also quite tall. I didn't really see any tusks protruding, but maybe I missed that. It's probably just over a year old, maybe a year and a half. Now, Sinek, you're wondering if or how do mother elephants communicate with their calves? Do they use infrasound? Most certainly. It obviously takes those little ones a little bit of time, I'm sure, to learn um, on how to understand the language that elephants speak. Just as kids learn to talk, remember, they've got to learn how to trumpet and do all the same things. So it'll be through body language. I think the, the most obvious one in terms of, uh, obviously, a young calf trying to locate its mother will be sense of smell. I think that that plays a huge role. And then as they get older, then the communication uh, of the infrasounds will obviously come into play, but I don't think that they can necessarily understand it straight off off the bat. Um, but for the first six months of a calf's life, it very rarely leaves mom's side. It's it's normally right there, and mom doesn't normally let it out of her side. It's only just after they get a bit older, they start to get a bit braver, and they start venturing away from mom and spending more time following their older siblings around and playing with elephants of a similar age. But like I said, the first couple of months are sped really quite close to mom's side. I actually wonder if this calf is not a little bit older and it's just a late developer in terms of its tusks. Normally you can start to see the tusks protruding at about two years old. And I can't even see that on this one, but it's very tall. I'm not going to, I'm just trying to think, yeah, maybe it's a bit older than a year and a half. Maybe it is closer to two, two and a half. And maybe it's just going to be a tuskless elephant. These types of things happen all the time. But definitely... Very thirsty little one. It also ha tried to have a drink of water because the tip of its trunk was wet and it's going to have a wet mouth now as well. Look how patient mom is being too. I mean, she was moving when we found them. But she s realizes that her calf is suckling and he needs to drink a certain amount of milk every single day too, as well as him feeding on the vegetation. But the bulk of his diet will still be milk at this age and she's tolerating him doing so. She's just feeding around her feet at the moment, but I don't think she'll stand still for too long, maybe a couple more minutes before she's had enough and she'll move on. It's very peaceful, Archer. Very quiet, out of the... How long do they suckle for? Not necessarily, sorry, the easiest to answer, but it, it's quite a complex uh, sort of answer to it because there, there's no sort of end date to how long they suckle for and the reason for this is because every four to five years or so an elephant will give birth that depends on what's going on with their in environment well the environmental status you know has there been a drought or is it flooding lots of rain is there abundance of food but um with these little ones, they'll suckle right through and until mom has given, or is about to give birth to another calf. And they're quite sneaky like that. But normally it's for about the first three years of their life, and then mom starts to stop tolerating it, but they'll still be allowed to suckle. And then when mom's got a new calf, obviously she's still producing milk. When, that all, when mom's not paying attention, maybe it's been a long day of traveling, and she thinks the young calf is suckling off, and it's not. It'll be the older one that sneaks in which is quite funny, and that normally ends up in, well, sort of loud trumpets from the youngster throwing a tantrum, and mom just saying, nope, you're too old for that. That's quite funny. As always, as always provides a lot of entertainment. But let's go back across to Brent now in the Mara. His lions seem to be up and moving around. Hopefully they're going to catch something.